Do you want to stream your DJ sets from Rekordbox but don't have an external sound card? Don't worry, we've got a little cool hack for you Mac and Windows users out there to get your DJ set heard on the internet. Let's get into it. So first of all, we're going to look at record box on the Mac and how you're going to set it up so you'll be able to stream with the high quality audio coming from your controller that's plugged in. First of all, you're going to need to download an additional program. This program is called Black Hole. It's a virtual audio driver. It's just going to enable us to control the way the audio is outputted from your controller. So we've got a link to this in our article, which you can visit on our website. There'll be a link in the top right hand corner or at the end of this video or in the uh, description below. So head there, download this driver that you're gonna need. Once you've downloaded it, it will open up like this and it will say that you cannot open it because it's from an unidentified developer. So to get around that, you click OK. Head to System Preferences. Go to Security and Privacy. And then in general, you can see here, allow apps to be downloaded from Black Hole. So you click open anyway. It'll ask you for, if you're sure you wanna do that, press open. And then you can go through the install process. So go through, enter your password when asked and get that installed. Once we've installed this program, it will restart your computer. If not, go ahead and restart your computer. Then you need to go to a program called Audio MIDI Setup. So here we are. So here's Audio MIDI Setup. You can see Black Hole 16 Channel Mixer is now available. So what we need to do is right click on that and click use this device for sound output. I've already got that clicked at the moment and that's why it's grayed out, but you go ahead and click that. You can then close this application. We can open up Record Box. make sure you've got your controller plugged in. Uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, I've got a DDJ uh, 400 plugged in here, but you can use any controller that you wish. Now that we've opened up record box, we're going to go to preferences. And then in audio here, we want to click this output audio from the computers, built in speakers and your DJ equipment. So make sure you've got that ticked there. When you've got that ticked, come down to output channels and just make sure that this is DDJ 400 master plus black hole 16 channel. It's the plus 16 channel black hole that we're looking for. So make sure that's ticked. Then you can go ahead and, I don't know, get some tracks loaded in. You can then see if your audio is playing. So the audio is working to the speakers here inside the studio. So what we need to do now is go to our streaming service of choice. So for the purpose of this, I'm gonna to go to Facebook. And then what you can do is you can click live video, for example. Now this depends on which service you're going to use, but for example, with um, Facebook Live, what I need to do now is in this microphone tab here, if we click down, we can actually see Black Hole 16 channel. So we click that, set up your camera how you want it, and click go live and the audio will come straight from your controller through to that stream. Alternatively, what you could do if you're wanting to take your uh, streaming to another level, you could use a program such as OBS, which is free to download. Here we are in OBS. New audio input capture, give that a name like Dex, and then click Black Hole 16 channel, click OK. Down here, where we can see, we've got decks here, and when I start playing, we've got high quality audio coming straight through. To our streaming platform of choice. It's dead simple, dead quick, and it works fantastically with any controller that you're using with Rekordbox on the Mac. Once you're done doing your stream, you can quit record box and then just go to system preferences, go to sound, go to output, and just click yourself back to MacBook Pro speakers like that, and everything's back to usual as it would have been before. So that's how you stream 
with audio from Rekordbox with any controller, straight through to your system in high quality audio. Dead simple to do and it works a treat. So it's very much the same on Windows as it is on the Mac. What we've got to do is we've got to download a virtual cable, that's what the system software is called, which basically takes the output, what's going to the speakers, and puts it onto an input so we can use it on our live streams. So once again, if you click the link in the top right corner, go to our article, you can find the Windows download for the program we're using here. This is called VB uh, Virtual Cable. It, like I say, it takes the output, creates it into an input. So once you've downloaded the program, you need to install it. Now there's one key tip here that you need to notice. You need to right click on the installer and run as administrator. Without doing this, it will not install correctly. So go ahead and install that as an administrator. Once that is all installed, you can exit here and we can open up record box. Remember to get your controller installed and plugged in. So here I've got the DDJ400, but it doesn't matter. Any controller with record box, you can use this. So open up record box. And then just like on the Mac, we need to go to our system preferences audio and what we need to do here is click output audio from the computer's built-in speakers and DJ equipment then scroll down to master output click the down arrow and here we have a few options what we need is the DDJ 400 plus cable input in brackets says VB audio so make sure that's ticked then we can close here we can open up some music get playing we can hear that through the speakers it's coming through just fine so now we need to head to our streaming service of choice if you're using OBS just click add new audio input capture and you'll be able to configure it click virtual cable and you'll get through the signal straight from your decks if you're heading to Facebook and using Facebook live obviously open up your Facebook Click live video. Once you're in the live video, just as before, make sure the sound is changed from microphone down to cable output, VB audio. You click that, get your webcam set up, push go live, and there you have it. High quality audio straight from Rekordbox to your streaming services. So there we have it, that's how to stream your set with no external devices, no sound cards to plug in, no routing the audio, just record box, a controller, and your streaming service of choice. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have done, give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments if you wanna see more tips and tricks on streaming. As always, stay subscribed for more content just like this, and we'll see you in another video sometime soon. Thanks.